I was just going through my public profile here on Ideogram. This is where I share lots of different types of colouring pages. Now, if you want to check out my public profile, I'll link it down below. But I was just going through here, taking a look at all the colouring pages, and I realised that they were all created with version 1.0. So I was thinking, I wonder what they'd look like if I used version 2.0 with the same prompts. So that's what I went ahead and did, and I thought I'd make a video about this as well. So if we come back up to the top, we can now take a quick look at these. Now, the design on the right is the version 1, and the design on the left is version 2.0. So let's go ahead, take a look at these, see which version is better, and then I'll give my thoughts nearer the end of the video. Now, quick side note, if you want to know how I'm personally creating all of the prompts for my colouring books, then come and check out the Ultimate Colouring Page Prompt Generator. This is a whole suite of GPTs that creates prompts for line art, grayscale, patterns, King. Now, King is a combination of all three, but then we have my favourite one just here, which is for, quote, colouring pages, and then my newest release, which is the Cover Converter. So what this GPT does is take your, quote, colouring page prompts and converts them into a colouring book cover prompt as well. Now, please note, this is only available until the 27th of September, which is this Friday. After that, it will no longer be available until November. Now, let's go ahead and take a quick look at these. So these are kind of mandalas with inside animals. Now, this is version 1.0, as we can see just here, over here, where it says model. This looks pretty good, but in my opinion, it doesn't look as good as version 2.0. With 2.0, it just looks a lot more cleaner and less like AI. So that's the fox. We can really see the difference. The owl, the original one with version 1.0, does look pretty good as well. We have to admit that version 1.0 still does an amazing job at colouring pages, but version 2.0, if we take a look at this one, again, just looks a little bit cleaner and less like AI. Now, let's take a look at this last one. This is a lion. And this does look pretty good as well. It's version 1.0. And if we come on to 2.0, again, just looks a little bit cleaner and looks a little bit more better than version 1.0. So with anything Mandala related, version 2, in my opinion, does do a better job. Now, when it comes to simple colouring pages, I actually think that version 1.0 does do a better job. So if we take a look at this, this is the pizza. This was version 1.0, and version 2.0 does actually look better. But if we take a look at these pancakes, version 1 is definitely much better than version 2. Same with the ice cream. I quite like version 1 over version 2.0. So anything really simple, I do think that 1.0 does do a much better job. Now, these are quite simple as well. This giraffe, this one, 1.0. Second one, 2.0. And again, I actually prefer the 1.0 over the 2.0. Same with this otter as well. Is this an otter? Yeah, here it is. This one looks really good, whereas the 2.0 on this prompt doesn't actually look that great compared to this one. Now, if we take a look at these, though, these two penguins, we have to admit, both look pretty good. But again, anything really, really simple, I do think that 1.0 does look a little bit better. Now, when it comes to more complex prompts with a lot more going on, Ideogram 2.0 does do a much better job. Now, I really like this design. This was on 1.0. If we take a look at 2.0, they're both very different styles, but we have to admit, they both look very, very good. Now, if we take a look at this castle with the dragons, we can see, looks pretty good. There's a little bit of grey in this, which I don't really like, and there's a few little bits that do look slightly off. But it does look pretty good. 
whereas version 2.0 just did a much better job at this coloring page and again just looks a lot more cleaner. So the differences that I'm seeing at the minute with 2.0 and 1.0 is just that 2.0 looks less like AI and is just a lot more cleaner. Now this one 2.0, no this is 1.0 this looks pretty good. There's a couple of mistakes, especially on this planet, and this planet looks slightly off. But that's not too much of an issue, as it does look pretty good. But whereas the 2.0 actually did a fantastic job at this, and this is absolutely flawless. Now, let's come back over to here. Let's take a look at these ones. We have this armchair. So I actually prefer this one, which is 1.0, over 2.0 which is just here this one's a lot more minimalistic a lot more cleaner lines and again just looks a lot more cleaner but i quite like the style of the original one just here now if we take a look at this farmyard one this is the original 1.0 this actually looks pretty good as well and then so does 2.0 as well but again it just looks a lot more cleaner now let's take a look at these ones. This one I actually really liked. This is 1.0, pretty, pretty good. But 2.0 looks again, just even better. This one, if we take a look at all of the variations, this is just absolutely flawless with all of the bubbles, the dolphin, the starfish, the turtle, and the fish as well. This is just absolutely perfect. Now, I only have a few more left, so let's take a look at these as well. So with this dog playing football, I actually think that 1.0 looks better than 2.0. But with the dog playing with these butterflies, I actually prefer 2.0 over 1.0. Look how flawless this is, apart from that little area there. So if I were to use a colouring page like this in a book, then I would want to edit this little part out. But nonetheless, they both look pretty good. Then it comes to this mountain one. So I quite like this, but we can obviously tell that this is AI. It just has that little look about it. I don't know if you've picked that up yet, but nine times out of 10, and depending the AI that you're using, you can tell that it's AI. But with this version 2.0 with the same prompt, this looks a lot more cleaner. It looks less like AI, and it just looks really, really good. But as we can see, they're both two completely different styles. Same with this house as well. I really like this house, but in my eyes, we can kind of tell that this is AI. Whereas this one next to it, I'd have no idea in a million years that this was actually AI. Maybe if I looked hard enough at the little flowers here, but if we edited that out, then I'd have no idea that this is AI just because it looks that clean and that good. So what I'm finding is with more complex images, I personally think that 2.0 does a much better job because I really like the way that it looks and the lines aren't as thick. Now this one, this is 2.0. I made a mistake on that, I've only just realized. I think the original image was 1.0. So let's see if we can just find that really quick. Let's scroll all the way down here. As you can see, I have a lot of colouring pages here. So feel free to come through to my public profile. I will link it down below and then you can play around with it. So here, here's the original. So it is actually 1.0. I just remixed it accidentally with the 2.0. So if we come back up to here, just to there, we can see the difference. It doesn't really look like AI on 1.0, but the 2.0 just again looks a lot more cleaner. But I really like the style of 2.0. Then we have the last one here. I really like this design. This is 1.0. This should have been 1.0, but it looks like I remixed it with 2.0. But the original is the 1.0. And then the second one, this one, is 2.0 and I really really like this again I don't know what else to say but it seems like version 2.0 just looks a lot more cleaner and a lot less like AI so my thoughts on this is anything related to mandalas I think 2.0 does a much better job 
anything really, really simple like these, just a one single image, I think 1.0 does actually do a little bit of a much better job. And again, with more simple ones, 1.0 does do a good job, but so does 2.0. Whereas when it comes to more complex images with a lot more going on, 2.0 definitely does a much better job as well. So what I suggest doing, if you are creating colouring pages, then play around with the different models. So if we click on here, we come to model and this is where we can change it. We can change it by 2.0, 1.0 or their first model. But nonetheless, if you're creating colouring pages, play around with them 2.0 and 1.0 to see what you can create. And if you want to check out all of these colouring pages just here, again, it's on my public profile. I'll link this down below. Come through and check them out. And don't forget that if you do want to check out the ultimate colouring page prompt generator, then this is only going to be available until the 27th of September, which is this Friday. Then after that, it won't be able to be purchased again until November. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.